In the last video tutorial, you have seen what you need to do before starting a flight with Wingtra 1. This means you have fulfilled the pre-flight checklist, reviewed your flight plan, and recaptured your options to interact during flight. Make sure that no people are close to Wingtra 1 and start the flight on the tablet. To start the flight on the tablet, press the takeoff button at the bottom of the tablet screen and slide left to right. The drone takes off after 4 seconds and rises to the transition altitude. At the specified height, the drone will change from hover, the vertical flight mode, to cruise, the horizontal flight mode. After transition, Winter 1 flies to the loiter circle to rise more efficiently. Once the mission altitude is reached, Winter 1 flies to the first mission waypoint and the image acquisition starts. After completing the mission, or when return to home is triggered, Winter 1 flies back loiters down, and approaches the home position on the transition altitude. After the back transition, the drone hovers down and lands autonomously. While the drone is flying, observe it and be ready to interact. Attention on the drone is especially needed when it is landing. Make sure there are no obstacles or people on the landing spot. After landing, you can power off Wingtro 1 by unplugging the battery. The images and data needed to geo-reference the images are saved on the SD card. For every flight, a new folder is created. You can take out the SD card to inspect or save the data, or continue flying directly. After one or several flights, you can geotag the images. Non-PPK data can be geotagged on the tablet within Wingtro Pilot or on a Windows computer within Wingtro Hub. Insert the SD card in the tablet or computer. Open the geotagging menu within Wingtra Pilot or Wingtra Hub. Select the Wingtra Pilot Projects folder that is located on the SD card and all flights are listed. To increase the geotagging speed, select CSV output only. This will create an output CSV that contains the coordinates and horizontal and vertical accuracies of every image. If you do not select this option, all images are copied, and the coordinates are also written to the metadata of each image. We recommend to use CSV output only, and to import the CSV into your post-processing software. PPK data can only be geotagged on a computer within Wingtra Hub. After choosing the Wingtra Pilot Projects folder, you see if a flight has PPK data. Select one or several flights and choose if you want PPK or non-PPK geotagging. For non-PPK geotagging, no additional information is needed. For PPK processing, you need to select the Rhinex base file and specify the base location. Check out the article about Wingtra 1 PPK for more information. Now that you saw this last video tutorial, we hope you will enjoy using the Wingtra 1 system and wish you happy flying!